Need three pairs of dumbbells, baby. One pair of hip. Never mind. Hey, good looking. So today's workout is a total body sculpt. So you're gonna need three, count them, three different sets of dumbbells. You want a pair of light, pair of moderate, pair of heavy. So I'm gonna roll the intro, you're gonna grab the dumbbells, and then we're gonna get going. I do. Do you? No. Why don't you like exercise? It's hard. It's hard. Well, it'd be easy if you did more of it. No. No. Here we go. Open close. His idea of a yoga workout is stretching to reach the converter. Yeah? No, usually you give it to me. <laughs> yeah, true, I do. Here we go. All right, get the feet underneath the hips. We're going to go into some squat and heel lifts. I'm going to go side view so you can see me. Reach straight out. Push the bum back for me. Now lift up off the heels. Good. Do it again. Now what's really great is having Loving Husband here is he's going to show all the modified and the low impact moves. So again, I really want to reach a broad range of fitness levels with my channel. I don't want just a channel for super fit people. I want people for beginners and that can challenge you all the way up the grade. And this guy here, if you're just starting out, that's who you're going to watch. Last three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Kick one leg straight up to the opposite hand. Hamstrings for eight, seven, five. And then don't forget, down below, if you, again, maybe you don't know, down below, I've got a link so that you can actually go down and download yourself a whole month's uh, workout plan. So all my YouTube videos, I put them in an order that's going to make the most sense and give you the most results. Last two, one, other leg. So that's just in the lake below. So this is a sculpting workout. So we are really going to be doing a lot of strength moves. Great to tone the muscles as well as build um, lean muscle mass and build bone density. Last two and one. All right, take the right leg, left for us. Step out for side lunge, reach across, touch the toe, feet together. Now the other direction. Good, warm up in the lateral hip, we got eight. So we are doing three rounds of each set of routine with a 20 second high impact or watch Loving Husband for the low impact version. And we've got 50 seconds on the clock. So this is really gonna build some muscle. So for those of you that have exercise ADD and have a real hard time doing the same thing over and over, well, guess what? The over and over is what's gonna give you results. So crank the music and stick with me. Last one and release. All right, we're gonna start out with a push-up. Loving husband's gonna go on to the knees. Let me show you how this push-up's gonna look though. You wanna give me a push-up and then you're gonna to touch opposite hand to shoulder, opposite hand to elbow, opposite hip, and then advance people with me, opposite knee. And then you take it from your push-up again. No problem, right? No problem, right? Right. <laughs> All right, I got the timer on, set for 50 seconds. Ready? Let's give her a try and down, push-up. Now opposite shoulder, other shoulder. Now the elbow. Now opposite hip. And the knees if you're doing it with me, otherwise we're right into the push-up. Oh, I forgot the push-up. Oh well. I'm joining you, Larry. Okay. We're 
We're standing with that one heavy dumbbell coming up for a goblet squat. What are you doing? Waiting for you. Why are you waiting for me? You go. Yes, I need to rest. <laughs> huh? Need to rest. We just started. How can you need a rest? Time. All right, grab your heavy dumbbell. We're going to hold on to a goblet squat style like this. Position the feet wider than the shoulders, toes turned out. We're going to squat and do a side leg lift. Ready? Come down for me. Beautiful. What are you doing over there? Now lift the outside leg up, other leg up. Do it again. Squat. Good. Now just do one squat and lift the leg. Sorry, I forgot to warn you. So squat. Now when we lift that side leg, I want you to follow what I'm doing, not what loving husband is doing. I want you to lean with the heel. So you're actually physically turning the toe in a bit. That's going to get your outer hip better, huh? I don't need my outer hip. You don't need your You guys speak up. Yeah. When the timer goes, we need to grab the partner to this heavy dumbbell for a deadlift to row combo. Good job. Remember that squat pattern. Knees track with the toes. Time. All right, deadlift. Have your hands down by your side. I'm going to go to the side so you can see my spine. Feet are only hip width apart. So bring your feet in there. Push the bum back, hinge through the hips, slightly bent knees. Now pull both dumbbells up for a row, straighten the arms and come back up. Do it again. Down. Now it's essential you keep a neutral spine with this. So do it by a mirror if you can. You want that low back curve. You want a slight pinch in your shoulder blades. Soften the knees even more so if you have tight hamstrings. You're going to really soften the knees so there's no pressure to your back. Slow and controlled. Woo. Which shirt did you wear today? Well, <laughs> it sure says my wife has an awesome husband. <laughs> I bought that for her. Good. Look up a bit so you've got that neutral upper back and neck area. Top. All right, we've got 20 seconds of fast mountain climbers, and we're going to take it from the top with our push up drill. Ready? Wrist underneath the shoulders. You go as fast as you want, driving the knee straight in. You can take it slow or fast. We're here just 20 seconds. Great core move right here. Make sure those wrists are under the shoulders. And breathe. Top. All right, we got the push-up drill. Push-up, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, elbow, hip, hip, or knee, knee. Ready, loving husband? No. And go. Push-up, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, elbow, hip, hip. Join me for knees if you like. It's a good core move. You should be feeling your abs, yes? You feel your abs? No. You don't feel your abs? No. Nope. Do you want me to change it so you don't? Nope. <laughs> Goblet squat coming up. Again, if you need to modify and do no weight, hey, go for it. Except you, Just keep weight. Uh, yeah. All right, squat, one side leg lift, other side, good. Hips are even to me for me at home. Chest is lifted, push your bum rearward. You need to make this harder, heavier weight, pick up the tempo. Deadlift to row coming up. Hopefully you can feel this in the tush as you're lifting that F leg up. Feel it in the thighs, hamstrings and tush as you're coming down and up with your squat. Are you smiling? Nope. <laughs> Done. Alright, grab the partner to this heavy dumbbell. 
We've got that deadlift to row. So feet just hip width apart, arms down by your side. Soften your knees, now hinge to the hip, come down low. Bring the elbows up, give you that row. Now come all the way up, do it again. Down, row. Good, now when you're doing the row at home, I want you to look up towards me, okay? So you're not looking down at the mat. That's gonna stress out the neck. These are some pretty big muscles for training, so hopefully you've challenged yourself at home and picked up a pair of heavier dumbbells. Remember, I'm all about the heavy weights. That's what's gonna help us see results. Fast mountain climbers coming up. Time, all right. Wrists under the shoulders, driving the knees straight in. Head nice and long, ready, sit, go. Look up a bit, keep that neck lined up. Looking good, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you feel your abs? Nope. Do you own abdominal muscles? Nope. <laughs> All right, last round. Push up, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, elbow, hip, hip, knee, knee. Okay, we're almost there. Ready, go, push up. Well, we're not really almost there. We're kind of just beginning. <laughs> but we're almost done this run. smoke up my ass. Oh. <laughs> Fast mountain climbers coming up. We get a quick water break and then we're moving on. Top. All right, quick little water break. Then we got a whole new series to do. No, not yet. We got mountain climbers. Come on. There you go up. <laughs> You're not listening to me like normal. <laughs> like said, it's all about. Can't hear anything. My ears are ringing. <laughs> well, if you start to get any chest pain, just do that off camera, okay? I gotta finish this workout. Done. All right, grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna need the heavy dumbbells for the next routine. 
I'm gonna quickly show you. As the time you're telling me, we've done the round. Thank you, I know that. All right, Josh. You're gonna give me a bridge. Oh my goodness, this thing doesn't shut up until you. Okay, bridge pattern, heavy dumbbells. So whatever your heavy is, okay? Bum up, you're gonna give me a chest press, come all the way down, slide your elbows in, and now give me a tricep press. Slide your elbows back out so they line up with your shoulders, and do it again. Cool, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so we're hitting all the same muscles we did in our push-up drill, just slightly different, and then we're getting into your glutes and your hamstrings and low back by holding that bridge. You ready? No. I like this. Just like, you like that? Look at it to see it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, slide, slide your arms out there, buddy. Bum up. Bum up. Good. Bring your arms out to chest press. Chest press. There you go. Ready? Go. Chest press. Now elbows in. Tricep press. Good. Elbows back out. Chest. So when we do the tricep press, that should be a little harder because now we've taken off some of the emphasis of the chest muscles and placed more on the back of the arm. That problem area on a lot of us. Right, loving husband? I don't have a problem there. Your lower arm doesn't jiggle when you wave? No, sir, ma'am, <laughs> wife. <laughs> Actually, for a guy who doesn't really weight trick, you do keep your muscle. Pretty good. I work hard. Should be feeling that in your upper body, arms, chest muscles. If not, I want you to grab a heavier pair of dumbbells. Todd, come into a standing position now with just one heavy dumbbell. We're going to do an alternating forward lunge and pass the dumbbell underneath the thigh. Ready? Step forward, pass underneath the thigh, feet together, and do it again. Woo, no balance. So you're passing that dumbbell through the leg by bending the knees, okay, not your back or into the hip region. So we're going to need the lighter pair of dumbbells for our next move. This is a great combo move, man. We're getting a lot of muscles right now. Up in that metabolic furnace of ours, burning some calories. Hey, okay, feel good, honey? I'm warm. <laughs> I'm getting warm too. Time. All right, grab your lighter dumbbells. Place them side by side and just underneath the chest. To modify, stay on the knees, otherwise, go into a full on plank. Now, take the left arm and do a reverse fly, and then the other arm, reverse fly. Good, so bum down for me, that's it. So when you're at home and you're doing the modified, you wanna keep the hips down so you're still working in the core, all right? Neck nice and long, arms slightly bent, it's not totally straight. We're hitting the postural muscles here, the back of the shoulder, which is great on a functional, okay, to help pull the shoulders back and down. And also gives that nice definition. And then by doing this in this plank position, oh man, we got core fired right up. Unless you're loving husband, he doesn't feel his core anymore, he says. Dive. Dumbbells off the side. I'm gonna do a low squat forward and back, which is very impactful. Loving husband is just gonna do a squat for the low impact. Ready, join me, 20 seconds. So when you're doing this, you want to stay low in the squat and you're forward jumping. Good. Otherwise, this is the man that you're following. That's what I've been doing all my life, honey, following you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Dive. All right, so those, that's our circuits. We're going to go back to that chest press and tri press. Grab your heavy dumbbells. A little heavier if the last set didn't fatigue you. Bum up and chest press. Slide the elbows in tight to the body. Tricep press. Slide them back out. Are the hips up high at home? We want to really push through the heels, so we're working into the glutes and hamstrings. If you need to drop the hips and take a break, go for it, and then just join us right away. 
Each week, stick with me. Oh man, you will get stronger. I promise you. However, I'm not a miracle worker. You gotta put the work in. <laughs> We got that lunge and dumbbell pass coming up. Time. Good. Now keep that one heavy dumbbell. Hold on to it with one hand and then the opposite leg is stepping forward to lunge. Ready? Lunge. Pass it under the thigh. Other leg. Beautiful. This is one of my bigger strength workouts and the reason I keep posting strength workouts is because that's what we need. Women over the age of 40 and loving husbands over the age of 55. Somebody needed to know that. Actually, you're not over 55 yet, are you? I'm almost 55. You're almost 55. Somebody needed to know that. I think you look fantastic. And why am I here? Because you love me. All right, Renegade Row, Reverse Fly. But we need to strength train and build our lean muscle mass to help control our weight as well as the other age-related things that happen to our bodies. Ready? Here we go, Reverse Flies. Cardio is not going to give you that. I cannot emphasize that enough. Strength training is the only one that will give you that lean muscle mass and turn your metabolic furnace on full blast. So step away from the treadmill. You feel this one? Shoulders and neck. Yeah. We got the squat, forward and back, coming up. Good. All right. Squatting forward and back or static squat with loving husband for 20 seconds. Ready, set. Whew, go. How are you doing? I'm praying. How are you praying? <laughs> Pray for me too. I need all the help I can get. Woo! All right. Chest press to tri press. Last round, then we're moving on. Ready? Bums up high, push through those heels, and go. Are you going to be up to hiking tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> Hope so. Todd. All right, keep just the one heavy dumbbell. Hold on to it with one hand, and the opposite leg is going to step forward first for our lunge. Passing that dumbbell under. Ready, go. Keep that upper body upright. We're not collapsing and crumpling through the abdomen and low back to get that dumbbell down. So our last time doing this, we got renegade rows with that reverse fly coming up. Grab those pair of lights, 
Get into that plank position from the knees or the toes. Just keep the hips down on both options. And go. Now you can have your hands on top of the dumbbells. I find that's uncomfortable unless I have my weight training gloves on. So then the other option is placing them just under the chest like we have ours. If you're on the toes, keep the feet apart so we don't move through the hips too much, all right? We want that core super engaged. We're not twisting. We're using that core to keep ourselves square to the mat. So 20 seconds of squat forward and jump, or loving husband. Ready, set, go. Stay low with that squat if you're jumping with me. If your thighs are tired, just tell yourself 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Top. All right, quick sip of water. We got a new round we're going to do for three. Whew. So we're going to need the lighter dumbbells now for the first two moves, and then we'll up it to the moderate for the last move. All right, here's the scoop. You're going to give me a lunge with the front lateral raise, bring the feet together, and then hands up, shoulder press, and then lunge, lateral raise the other leg. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Ready, set, go. Lunge, lateral, feet together. Curl the hands up to the shoulders. Now press the dumbbells up. Release. Lunge the other leg, lateral raise. Good. Curl. Press. So this is very upper body, shoulder dominant. We also get to hit that tricep area. And then we've got the legs involved. Great job. Core tight. Nice and tall in that posture. That's why squats and lunges, one of the reasons they're so effective to train the core. We're using those abdominal muscles to stay nice and long and upright. Almost there, we've got one-legged alternating squat coming up. Time. All right, place your dumbbells to each side of you, upright like so. We're gonna do a one-legged squat and try to touch the dumbbells, but go down as low as you feel comfortable. Let's try it. So come down, head up, touch. Now the other leg. Good. So if this is too hard for you, you can kick stand that leg down like so. See that? I've put a lot of weight just in that one leg, but I still have the other one helping guide me for my balance. Good, chest up, excellent. Dumbbells are there encouraging us to go down and touch them by bending the knee, not the back, so we've got quadricep fired right up. This is also a great exercise to do for the little tiny stabilizers in the knee joint. We need the moderate dumbbells coming up next. We got a row to bicep curl pattern coming up. All right, here we go. Grab the moderates. Turn your palms facing away and get yourself in that forward position of the deadlift. Good. Now bring the elbows, brush them by the rib cage, straighten the arms. Now come all the way up and give me a bicep curl. Finish it. Good. Now hinge to that hip. Row, stand, bicep curl. So we've combined that deadlift now with a different form of a row, our palms are facing away, so it's going to put a little bit more emphasis on the biceps, and then we come up and we double up that bicep action by doing a curl. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to be releasing a video for back-to-back -back muscle troop grade training, and it's fantastic for breaking through any plateaus, and this would be like one of the moves we would do, where we work the same muscle repeatedly, but in different patterns, different moves. I just have a great way to kickstart the old body. Time. 
All right, we're gonna go into a mountain climber. I'm gonna do a plyometric version of it for 20 seconds. Loving husband's gonna do non-impact. So wrists underneath the shoulders, and you can either plyo, so push through the hands and jump each foot forward, or alternate. Almost there. Time. All right, round two. Lunge, lateral raise, shoulder press. Grab your light bear dumbbells. You coming? Yes. All right, here we go. Lunge, lateral raise. Now feet together, curl, press, finish. Good, other leg. So take this move slow, okay? I want you to get the form. Don't rush it. 50 seconds is still 50 seconds, no matter what speed you go. Should be feeling the shoulders by now. If you're not, get yourself a heavier pair of dumbbells for the next set. Alternating one-legged left squats coming up. Time. All right, place those dumbbells side by side. Okay, we're alternating one-legged squat. Can keep your leg on the ground or lift it right up. Up to you. If you have that one leg up, remember the easiest way to find your balance is to focus your stare on something stationary. Once we look around, <laughs> our body wants to follow. So just focus, breathe, alternate each leg. We need the moderate pair of dumbbells coming up for that new row and bicep curl pattern. stop on this machine <laughs> but it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission <laughs> we got our mountain climber or plyo mountain climber drill coming up for 20 seconds time all right let's get her done here we go wrists underneath the shoulders if you do the plyo with me start with the foot up start out with, okay? Ready? Go. Isn't it? Uh. Time. All right, 
right, dumbbells down by your side. And then alternating squats to modify. Watch Loving Husband or Leg Up. Focus your stare on something stationary. And continue. This is such a good move. If you've got any knee problems, I want you to go to what's pain free, but we are hitting a lot of muscles that help support and stabilize the knee. But once again, your squats and lunges should be pain free in the knee joints. Let me emphasize that, in the joints, all right? If you're burning and fatigued, well, good. That's where I want you. But I don't want the joints sore. I'm here to get you stronger, not send you to physio. So respect what your body's telling you. Go the depth that feels good for you. Time. All right, palms away, row to bicep. Whew. Ready? Sit. Hinge to the hips. Beautiful. Stand. Curl. Do it again. Hinge. Give me that row. When you do the row, the elbows are in tight to the body. When you do the bicep curl, the elbows stay underneath the shoulders, so we're not swinging. Knees are soft, neutral spine, good. Whoop, almost did what you did, combining them. Mountain climber coming up, then we get a water break. How you doing at home? Good job. Release. All right. Mountain climber or plyo mountain climber. Then we get a quick water break and then we're on our last round. Ready? Go. drama happening here on film. Okay, we're gonna need those light dumbbells. We're gonna go back to that renegade row pattern, but do a tricep kickback for the back of the arm. If you're familiar with my workouts, we do this a lot. And one of the reasons is because I get to train your core, while I also get to train the back of the arm, which for loving husband is a fine muscle group, but for us ladies, it tends to be a little weaker, and we don't want that flap. I'll quickly show you what it looks like. You're going to need your lighter dumbbells on the knees to modify. You're pulling the elbow up, keep the elbow lined up with the shoulder, and kick right back. Then the other side. It's our last round, baby. Come towards me just a bit. There you go. Okay. All right, four exercises, three rounds, and then we stretch. Ready, set, go. Now, if you're on your toes, I want those feet apart like I emphasized on the reverse fly with Renegade. Because I don't want you moving through the hips. I want the core super strong. The only joint that's moving, shoulder and then elbow. Everything else, stable, secure, locked in. So too late. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're going to need that moderate dumbbell for the next move. We're going to combine a really good lower leg or lower ab exercise with our shoulders and our back. You'll love it. No. <laughs> I wasn't really talking to you. <laughs> All right, grab your moderate dumbbell. Loving husband's going to keep his knees bent at 90 and his hips at 90. I have my legs straight. Dumbbell pointed away. Now I'm going to lower the dumbbell all the way to the mat as well as my heels and then pull back up. However, if you feel that in your low back at all, I want you to go, you just need one dumbbell. What are you doing? And then lower the heels down. Good, and back up. Perfect. Slight bend in the elbow, 
like I was saying, if you feel this in your low back, I want you to hip and do what loving husband's doing. He's keeping his knees bent, which places a lot less load on the spine. So if your abs are a little weak, you're gonna feel it in your low back because your abs just are not able to stabilize. So we will get you there, don't worry. In fact, next week, loving husband and I are releasing a 15 minute ab workout. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, that was a surprise. Time. Now, grab your heavy dumbbell, loving husband, you can use that one. Oh, Feet hip width apart, all right? Dumbbell resting into the hips, and you're holding the dumbbell there while you drop the hips up as high as you can, and then lower until you just hit the mat, and then do it again. You're using, or pressing, pardon me, through the heels to get the hips up high, working into the glutes and the hamstrings. The dumbbell resting in the hips is adding more weight. When the timer goes, we then just keep the bum lifted for 30 seconds. Cool, huh? And that's the round. Oh my god. This is good for your low back. Really? It is. Okay. This is as good for your low back. It's good for your booty. <laughs> There's a lot of whispering happening behind me. He just told me he doesn't have to worry about his booty. Let me see. <laughs> <That's so awful. laughs> All right, lift your hips up and hold. He's right. He's got a good booty. <laughs> Keep holding. We're here for another 20 seconds. Push through the heels. Now, when the timer goes, we're going to take it back from the top of that renegade row and tricep kickback. Should be feeling that in your tush at home. I know we are. Time. All right. Grab that, those light pair of dumbbells, or if you're more advanced, grab your one heavy. We've got the Renegade Row to kick back. On the knees, we're modified. On the toes, pick the dumbbell up, kick back, and then the other arm. Well, kick it back. Don't do that. Uh, it's going to smack me in the face. Yeah, kick it, kick it back. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't mean to do that on purpose at all. No, not at all. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just work. You can't go home yet. We're not doing the workout. I'll buy you M&Ms later. You'll feel a bit triceps, shoulders, rotator cuff, <coughs> and then the leg lowering is hitting the lower abs. <laughs> you okay? Grab your heavier one. We've got the bridges. Settle that dumbbell in low in the hips, feet hip width apart, and drive the heels up. And then don't let the bump fully touch the ground when you come back home. I guess I'm buying the movie tonight. Yes, you are. <laughs> We're going to go see Quentin Tarantino's new movie, The Hateful Eight, tonight. It's a huge commitment for time. It's three hours long. It's a long movie. Now keep the heads up 
How you doing? Your little butt cheeks are quivering. That's so cute. <laughs> You're joking now, are you? Nobody needs to go. <laughs> you gotta love a guy who be dragged onto a YouTube video who absolutely hates to be on camera. In fact, he doesn't even like to be mentioned in my vlogs. Release. But you're a good sport, baby. Okay, Renegade Road to Kickback. He wants to go through life with nobody knowing him, but I've made him actually quite famous, especially locally. All right, ready? Now I'm taking over, go globally, honey. Now kick back, so don't swing your arm out and hit me. Ow, so up, kick back. There you go. I think Larry could be a global sensation. We could have a whole brand of stuff labeled the loving husband. No smart ass comment there? That's unusual that you don't know what to say. Uh, I actually kind of like it with the camera on. <laughs> Usual witty, sarcastic comments are at a minimum. Uh, Pullovers and leg lowering, time, right now. Grab that left moderate dumbbell, pardon me. Knees bent at 90, or straight. Dumbbell angled away, arms straight again, and drop and lower. Your low back okay with this one? Yep. Okay, good. Excellently strong in lower back. Keep this dumbbell or more advanced people, grab your heavy. We've got the bridges. Remember, we want the feet hip width apart, the knees and the feet. Ready? Drive up and release. We're on the home stretch. You're going to be stretching it out in less than a minute. That's good news, huh? Yes. Almost there at home. Right here, lift up, hold it up. Keep that dumbbell around the hip bone area so it's really your glutes that are holding the dumbbell up, okay? Not lower or higher up in the abdomen. And now 20 seconds hold. Again, you really want to feel this in the tush. So squeeze those bum muscles, lift that ass up high, and finish strong. Done. All right, get rid of the dumbbell. Pull both knees into your chest. Stretch out the low back. Rock your knees side to side. Give your low back some love. Stretch into the glutes. Nice. Now lower just your right leg on the ground. Keep your left one. And pull your left knee to the outside of the body and then up towards the armpit. Now from here, I want you to really dig that right heel into the ground so we're lengthening the front of that left, left, bleh, right leg while we're stretching into the left glute. Now release center and take this left leg, extend it straight up for hamstring. If this is stressful on your back, feel free to bend your right leg.
Now if you haven't already, bend that right leg, cross the left ankle over top of the thigh, flex that left foot, and now pull that right knee in towards the chest, come in behind the thigh or on top of the shin for a deeper stretch, and feel that left hip and glute get a nice opening. Lower this left leg for me down to the ground. Push the heel into the ground. Now take this right knee and come to the outside of the body first and now pull it up towards the armpit. So we're coming to the outside so we clear the rib cage and get a little bit more pull up and stretch into that glute. Left heel digging into the mat so that we're stretching that front part of the leg there. Extend the right leg straight up. Get that hamstring relaxed. On your stretches, you want to hold it from 0 to 10, 10 being that you feel it's ripping from the attachment. You want about a 5, okay? So your legs shouldn't be shaking, you shouldn't be straining to hold a stretch. If you're doing that, the muscle tissue is going to think, holy shit, she's going to hurt me, and it's going to contract. And so it's going to do the opposite of what we're trying to accomplish, which is relax and release. All right, bend that left leg. Cross that right leg over. I want you to flex that right foot though so that we protect the right knee. Pull up and stretch out that right hip and glute. And release. Rock yourself up to a seated position. Sit whatever feels comfortable for you. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Your glasses are all fogged up. Yes, they are. <laughs> elbows behind the, or um, fingers behind the head, pull the elbows back. Lift the chest up to your ceiling a bit. Look up, stretch out the chest. So thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate your support. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Each week I drop a new workout specific for the over 40 crowd. So I do a lot of strength training to build that lean muscle mass, a lot of mobility to keep us moving freely and pain free, as well as flexibility. Release, bring the right arm straight up or our left. Reach across. And then if you want to join more fun with the fitness with PJ community, head to the blog, fitnesswithpj.com, subscribe, and don't forget to pick up your free one month calendar of workouts. Release, other arm, reach up and over. And release. High five there at home. Great job, we'll see you next week. Oh, the good. Uh, I think he's dead. <laughs>